So data is a really important part of what we do. We're obviously the Department of Human Services, so uh, the human part is really important to us as well, and the uh, needs and stories of uh, the way people are experiencing our services matter, but data really helps us inform our decision making and really help us drive prioritization. So, for example, last year for the first time in probably a decade, we significantly increased child care center payment rates. Um, that was informed both by the fact that we had the resources to be able to do it, but also because when you look, we looked at the data, our team was able to identify that the way we were paying for child care services, we were actually bundling infant and toddler services into one rate, um, when in fact the staffing ratios for infants are higher. You need more staff to care for um, infants, and so as a result, you actually should be paying more because you need more staff for those services, and we shouldn't have one rate for infants and toddlers. We should have separate rates. And so in setting new rates, we were able to also break out um, the categories that we were paying in, and the data there made a big difference to us in being able to identify where our challenge was, and then think about how we were going to allocate new money in ways that delivered the best possible outcomes. So it's significantly uh, changed how we're paying child care centers, which means that um, families who depend on our resources to help them afford child care have more options um, and more access to affordable child care because now um, we have updated the rates that we're willing to pay and so that should help encourage more centers to take children who depend on our subsidy. So it's been really interesting to us to think about um, how people approach our programs. And so, for example, it, we run the Division of Aging Services, and Aging Services runs a number of programs that help support older residents in our state in maintaining their independence and having affordable health care. So we provide subsidies there to support um, prescription drug costs. We help people with the cost of utility services. We help people with some of the home and community-based services that they need to be able to stay in their community and not have to go into a nursing home, um, those kinds of services. What we realized by looking at where our numbers were for each of those various programs was that, in fact, we were making people come in and apply separately for all of those different programs um, and asking them the same questions with some frequency. Um, and so here's a place where both data and technology matter to us. Once we had a common technology platform for our aging services program and were able to um, sort of simplify our technology, we were able to put all those applications together into one simplified application online that allows us to now help older residents in our state come in one door, ask for that assistance with one set of information. Uh, we're able to help them if they qualify for um, prescription drug assistance. We're able to help folks with their Medicare premiums. We're able to help them with utility assistance. We're able to do a whole host of things because we've simplified the application and we have seen substantial increase in our applications now because it's a simpler way to deliver services. So the Department of Human Services is the largest state uh, agency. We provide affordable health care assistance through Medicaid. We provide food assistance. We provide child care assistance, services for individuals who have mental health and addiction services needs, uh, aging services, services for those with disabilities. A whole range of services are available in the state of New Jersey. Um, and uh, we're fortunate to have that. But what's really important is not just to have those services on the books, but for people to have access to them. And so innovation and thinking creatively about how to deliver services in a timely way when people are in need and how to make sure people know what's available to them when they need that assistance are really important to us. And so we're always challenging ourselves to think creatively about how to make technology and to make those uh, additional tools as readily available to people, and then to use that technology on our end to make sure we're getting services to people as quickly as possible. So one of the other things that we've done as a department is really help create an easier front door for people to come 
in and, and identify the kinds of things that might be useful to them, the kinds of services our department might be able to assist them with. Sometimes it's hard because um, we offer a number of programs in partnership with the federal government and federal rules might have different eligibility requirements for different programs. So it's not the case that if you meet one set of eligibility for one program, you're eligible for all. Um, so it complicates things a little bit. So we've tried to simplify that by creating a single front door, which we call NJ Helps, which is a place to put some simple information in where we can pre-screen you to be able to say, okay, based on this preliminary information, it looks like you're probably eligible for our Medicaid program, you may be eligible for our food assistance program. It's a way to try to um, sort of shortcut the process a little bit and give people a sense of what they may be eligible for because once you come in and do the full application, we might need a little more information from you. We might need um, some paperwork and that can sometimes deter people from going through the process. So we wanted to give people some ind early indication of what their likely eligibility is. I think it's very important to Governor Murphy that our administration is doing everything possible to be as consumer facing as possible, meaning the people of New Jersey depend on us for a variety of critical services and we need to make sure that we are um, ready and able and have the tools available to help people when they need it and that's important to the governor, it's important to me as the commissioner um, and we've made that a priority across our department.